Greetings from Dr. SSO Tech YouTube channel. Today we have look on carbohydrates detection and identification. Carbohydrates are naturally occurring organic compounds containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen elements. Chemically, carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones. Carbohydrates are classified into simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Based on chemical composition, simple carbohydrates are classified into monosaccharides and disaccharides. Complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are glucose, fructose, galactose. Disaccharides are maltose, lactose, sucrose. Polysaccharides are starch, fibers, glycosin. Test performed for identification of carbohydrates for sample glucose. Molish test. It is a general test for carbohydrates. This test is given by almost all the carbohydrates. In this test, concentrated sulfuric acid converts the given carbohydrate into furfural, which then react with alpha naphthol to form a purple color products. The chemical reaction is given below. The appearance of purple or violet ring confirms the presence of carbohydrates. Aqueous solution or alcoholic solution of substance or sample is added to test tube. Then add 10% alcohol solution of naphthol. Add concentrated sulfuric acid alongside of the tube. Violet ring at the junction of two liquids is observed. Carbohydrates present. Solubility test. To the sample, add distilled water. The sample is soluble in water, represents monosaccharides and disaccharides are present. If the sample is insoluble in water, represents the presence of polysaccharides. Pehling's test. This test is given by reducing sugars. To the aqueous solution of carbohydrate, Pehling's solution is added and heated in water bath. The formation of red precipitate confirms the presence of reducing sugars. The copper ions present in Pehling's solution is reduced to oxidation state and in alkaline medium it is precipitated as red cuprous oxide. You can observe the chemical reaction. The presence of red precipitate confirms the presence of carbohydrates. These are Fehling's reagent A and B. To the test tube, add 2 ml of Fehling solution A, 2 ml of Fehling solution B, 2 ml of sample solution. Now boil the solution. Brick red precipitate appears. Reducing sugars are present. Benedict's test. This test is given by reducing sugars. In an alkaline medium, sodium carbonate converts glucose to enidiol and this enidiol reduces cupric to cuprous. On boiling, red or yellow precipitate of cuprous oxide is formed. Benedict's reagent contains sodium citrate, sodium carbonate and copper sulfate. You can observe the chemical reaction. Appearance of yellow precipitate or red precipitate confirms the presence of carbohydrates. This is Benedict's reagent. To the test tube, add 5 ml of Benedict's reagent, add 3 ml of sugar solution. Boil the solution and cool. Yellow precipitate appears. Reducing sugars present. Barfeet's test. This test is useful to differentiate between monosaccharides and disaccharides. For example, glucose and fructose from lactose and maltose. Barfeet's reagent consists of copper acetate and acetic acid. Monosaccharides gives the test positive. This test is based on the reduction of cupric ions to red colored cuprous oxide. You can observe the chemical reaction. In this reaction, aldehydic group is oxidized to carboxylic acid and reduce the cupric ions to cuprous oxide. To the test tube, add 2 ml of test solution and 2 ml of Barfitt's reagent. Boil the solution. 
brick red precipitate appeared at the bottom of the test tube monosaccharides present selvinov's test this test is used to differentiate between aldose and ketose this test is positive for fructose and sucrose selvinov's reagent is a mixture of resorcinol and concentrated hydrochloric acid the reaction depends on the formation of furfural from fructose and its condensation with resorcinol to form red color complex this test is negative for glucose to the test tube add 3 ml of selvinov's reagent and 1 ml of sample solution boil the sample solution test did not produce red precipitate this test is negative for glucose rapid furfural test this test is used to distinguish between glucose and fructose here sample is added to ethanolic 1 naphthol and concentrated hcl the solution is then boiled and if a purple color appears fructose is present this test is negative for glucose to the test tube add 1 to 2 ml of sample solution and then add 1 ml of a naphthol solution 5 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid boil the solution no color appears this test is negative for glucose osajon test this test is used to differentiate among reducing sugars like glucose fructose lactose maltose because crystalline structures of the osozone formed are characteristic of particular sugar principle the reason for this test consists of phenyl hydrazine in acetate buffer the test is based on the principle that carbohydrates with free carbonyl groups react with phenyl hydrazine to form osazone the condensation oxidation condensation reaction between three molecules of phenyl hydrazine and carbon 1 and 2 of aldose and ketose yields 1 to diphenyl hydrazone which is known as osazone a typical reaction showing the formation of an osazone here d glucose reacts with phenyl hydrazine to give glucosazone to the test tube add 0.2 grams of sugar 0.4 grams of phenyl hydrazine hydrochloride 0.6 grams of sodium acetate 1 ml water boil the solution for 20 minutes cool and allow crystallization observe crystals under microscope You can observe yellowish needle shaped glucosazone crystals. It is confirmatory test for glucose. To the test tube add 3 ml of potassium ferricyanate solution add 1 ml of sodium hydroxide. Boil the sample solution. Add glucose solution drop by drop. Keep the fluid boiling. Yellow color of ferricyanate is discharged. It is also a confirmatory test for glucose. To the test tube, add 3 ml of glucose solution, 1 ml of picric acid solution, 1 ml of sodium hydroxide, and boil the sample solution red color develops it is also a confirmatory test for glucose these are the test for identification of carbohydrate sample glucose thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel